Hello, and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe. Today we're going to be covering 1 Chronicles 1 through 3 and John 9, 5, 25 through 47. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice so that the reading of your word will be a blessing to you and for those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. First Chronicles, the historical records from Adam to Abraham, to Noah's sons. Adam, Seth, Enosh, Canaan, Mahal, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lemich, and Noah. The sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Jepheth. The Jephethites. The sons of Jetheth, Gomer, Megan, Madai, Jevan, Tubal, Meshach, and Tyrez. The sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Rapheth, and Togamah. The sons of Javan, Elisha, Teresha, the Kittites, and the Redanites. The Hamites, the sons of Ham, Cash, Egypt, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush, Seba, Havilah, Sabat, Rama, and Sabatika. The sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dedan. Cush was the father of no, Nima, Nimrod, who became a mighty warrior on earth. Egypt was the father of the Ludites, Ammonites, Lehebites, Nethetites, Pathrites, Kulahites, from whom the Philistines came, and Kapahatorites. Canaan was the father of Sidon, his firstborn, and of the Hittites, Jebusites, Amorites, Gerkishites, Hivites, Archites, Sinites, Arbidites, Zemorites, and Hamathites. The Semites, the sons of Shem, Elam, Asher, Arifax, Arifaxid, Lud, and Aram. The sons of Aram was Uz, Ahul, Gether, and Meshach. Arifax was the father of Shelah, and Shalth, the father of Eber. Two sons were born to Eber. One was named Peleg, because in his time the earth would de was divided. His brother was named Jokhtan. Jokhtan was the father of Olamad, Shef, Shalef, Shalef, Hazarmavadith, Jerah, Hadaram, Uzl, Dekalha, Obel, Adamil, Sheba, Ophar, Havilah, and jo Jobad. All these were sons of Jakhatan, Shem, Arapaxed, Shela, Eber, Peleg, Ru, Suraj, Surge, Nahor, Terah, and Abraham, that is, Abraham, Abram, that is, Abraham. The family of Abraham, the sons of Abraham, Isaac and Ishmael, descendants of Hagar. These were their descendants. 
Nebaoth, the firstborn of Ishmael, Kedar, Ab Adbel, Mebesam, Misham, Duha, Duma, Masa, Hada, Tama, Jedar, Nephesh, and Kedema. These were the sons of Ishmael. Descendants of Korah, the sons born to Korah, Abraham's concubine, Zimaran, Jakashan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shaharsh. Now the sons of Jakshan, Sheba, and Didan, the sons of Midian, Ephar, Ephah, Ephar, Hanak, Ab Abidah, and Elidah. All these were descendants of Kitara. Descendants of Sarah, Abraham was the father of Isaac and the son of Isaac. Sons of Isaac were Esau and Israel. Esau's sons, the son of Esau, sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Reuel, Jerush, no, Jerush, Jalama, and Korah, the sons of Eliphaz, Taman, Omar, Zephalah, Ketam, and Kenez, by Timon, Amalek. The sons of Ruel, Nathan, Zerah, Shema, and Messiah. Meza. The people of Sarah in Edom, or Adam. The sons of Sarah, Lotan, Shabal, Zibon, Anna, Dishon, Ezar, and Dishan, the sons of Lotan. <coughs> sons of Lotan, Hore and Homa. Timon was Lotan's sister. The sons of Shobal, Avalin, or Alvan, Manahatath, Ebel, Shepha, and Anna, the son, sons of Zibion, Ayah, and Anna, the sons of Anna, Dishan, the sons of Dishan, Hamadan, Eshban, Ithran, and Kuran, the sons of Ezer. Bilhan, Zavan, and Achan, the sons of Dishan, Uz, and Aaron, the rulers of Edom. These were the kings who reigned in Edom before any Israelites' kings reigned. Bala, son of Beor, whose city was named Denahab. Where Biel died, Joab, son of Zerah from Bozerah, succeeded him as king. When Jabba, Jabad died, Husham from the land of the Temanites succeeded him as king. And when Hesham died, Hedad, Hedad son of Bedad, who defeated Median in the country of Moab, succeeded him as king, and his city was named Aveth. When Hadad died, Samala from Mer Meshreka succeeded him as king, and when Shemala died, Sohal from Rehoboth on the river succeeded him as king. When Shuhal died, Bilahana, son of Akbar, 
succeeded him as king. And when Belhana died, Hadad succeeded him as king. His city was named Pu. Payu, 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 Payu. And his wife's name was Methabel, daughter of Metered, the daughter of Mizahab. Hadad also died. And the chiefs of Edom were Timon, Alava, Jenna, uh, Jethethith, Olobama, Alach, Pin, Pinyon, Kenaz, Temman, Mez, uh, Me, Mibzar, Megadal, and Iram. These were the chiefs of Adam. Israel's sons. First Chronicles 2. These were the sons of Israel. Reuben, Simon, Levi, Judah, Eskara, Zebulun, Dan, Joseph, Benjamin, Nephalate, Gad, and Asher. Judah to Hazaron's sons. The sons of Judah Ur, Anan, and Shelach. These three were born by, to him by a Canaanite woman, the daughter of Shehu, Ur, Jeha, Jud, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the Lord's sight, so the Lord put him to death. And Judah's daughter-in-law, Tamar, bore Perez, and Zara to Judah. He had five sons in all, the sons of Perez, Hazarah, and Hamul, and the sons of Zerah, Z Zimari, Zimari, Ethan, Herman, or Heman, sorry, Kokol, and Deirdre, Deirdre, five in all. The sons, uh, the son of Kamai, Archer, who brought trouble on Israel by violating the ban on taking devoted things, devoted things. The sons of Ethan, Azariah. The son of the son born to Hazaron were Jerhomel, Ram, and Caleb. Or Ram and Caleb. From Ram, son of Hazaron. Ram was the father of Amnibadad and Amnibadab. Two kids named the same thing. Okay. The father of Nashon. Oh, Amnibadad. Okay. Ram was the father of Amnibadad. And Amnibadad, the father of Nashon the leader of the people of Judea. Neshon was the father of Solomon, and Solomon the father of Boaz. Boaz the father of Obedid, and Obedid the father of Jesse. Now Jesse was the father of Elab, his firstborn. The second son was Enadad, the third Shema, Shimei, and the fourth Nathaniel. The fifth, Rebidide, or Redide, Redide. The sixth, Ozum, and the seventh, David. The sisters were Zerhai and Abigail. Zerhai's three sons were Abishai, Joab, and Ashl, As, Azahel. Abigail was the mother of Amas whose father was Jether and the Ishmaelite. The Ishmaelite? Yeah, Ishmaelite. Caleb, son of Hezron. Caleb, son of Hezron, had children by his wife Azubah and by Jer Jeroth. There were her, these were her sons, Jesher, Shobab, and Aradon. When Azabad died, Caleb married Ephraath, who bore him her 
and her was the father of Yuri, Yuri the father of Vezila. Later, Hezeron, when he was sixty years old, married the daughter of Machir, the father of Galid. He made love to her, and she bore him Sigub. Sigub was the father of Jair, Jair, who controlled twenty-three towns in Galid. But Gesher and Aram captured Hobioth Jair, as well as Kenneth was with its surrounding settlements, sixty towns. All these were descendants of Machir, the father of Galid. After Hezron died in Caleb, Ephertha, Abijah, the wife of Hezron, bore him Asher, the father of Tikio. Jeremal, son of Hezron. First Chronicles 2, 25. The son of Jeremal, the firstborn of Hazaron, Ram, his firstborn, Bana, Oran, Azem, and Ahijah. Jeremel had another wife whose name was Athra. She was the mother of Anem. Sons of Ram, the firstborn of Jeremel. Maez, Jamine, uh, and Eker, the son of Am Anam, Shemai, and Jada, the son of Shemai, Nedad, and Abishur. Abishur's wife was named Abihel, who was who bore him Ahavan and Moled. The sons of Nabad, Sealed and uh, Seled, Seled and Ephraim, 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 Okay, Seled and Ephraim. Seled died without children. The son of Ephraim, Ish, who was the father of Shishan. Shishan was the father of Alahai and the sons of Jeda, Semra, uh, Sh Shemani, Shemai's brother. Shish, the sons of Jeda, Shemai's brother, Jether and Jonathan. Jether died without children. The son of Jethan, Felit and Zazab. These were the descendants of Jehameli. Sheshahan had no sons, only daughters. He had an Egyptian servant named Jeraha. She gave his daughter in marriage to his servant Jera, and she bore him Atatai. Atatai was the father of Nathan, Nathan the father of Zabad. Zabad, the father of Ephala, and Ephala, the father of Obed. Obed, the father of Jehu, and Jehu, the father of Azariah. Azariah, the father of Helez, and Helez, the father of Elish. Elish, Elish uh, the father of Sesamai. Sesamai, the father of Shalom. Shalom, the father of Jechemiah, and Jechemiah, the father of Elishim. Now the clans of Caleb, the sons of Caleb, the brothers of Jeremel, Mesha, his firstborn, who was the father of Zipho, Zipho, and his son, Marash, who was the father of Hebron. The sons of Hebron, Korah, Tepahal, Rechem and Shema. Shema was the father of Raham, and Raham the father of jo Jorakam. Rechem was the father of Shemai, and the son of Shemai was Moan. 
and Moan was the father of Beth Zur. Caleb's concubine, Epha, was the mother of Haran, Moaz, and Gazaz. Haran was the father of Gazaz. The sons of Jehada, Regam, Jotham, Geshan, Pelit, Epha, and Safa. Caleb's concubine, Mecca, was uh, the mother of Shavir and Terhana. She also gave birth to Shaphath, the father of Madamanha, and to Sehav, Shehav, the father of Makandana, and Geba. Caleb's daughter was Akasah, and there were the descendants. These were the descendants of Caleb, the sons of her, the firstborn of Ephrates, Ephratha. Shobal, the father of Kareth Jerem, Shalama, the father of Bethlehem, and Hephra, the father of Beth Gadder. The descendants of Shoba, the father of Kareth Jerem, were Herach, half the Mennonites, and the clan of Kareth Jerem, the Ithrites, Purithites, Shemathites, uh, and Meshurites. From these descendants, the Zarahites and Eshethelites. The descendants of Salama. Bethlehem and Nephthites. Ataroth. Ataroth. Beth. Joab. Half the Mennonites and Zorites and the clans of scribes who lived at Jabez, the Terathites, Shemites, and Sekites. These are the Kenites who came from Hamath, the father of Rechabites, of the Rechabites, the sons of David. Whew. First Chronicles 3. These were the sons of David born to him in Hebron. The firstborn was Ammon, the son of Ahanimo of Jezreel. The second, Daniel, the son of Abigail of Carmel. The third, Absalom, the son of Mechakah, daughter of Talmai king of Gusher. The fourth, Ashenajah, the son of Haggith. The fifth, Shephathiah, the son of Abita, And the sixth, Ethrim, by his wife, Agila. The sixth, these six were born to David in Hebron, where he reigned seven years and six months. David reigned in Jerusalem thirty-three years, and these were the children born to him there. Shemma, Shem, Shemuha, Shobad, Nathan, and Solomon, and these four were by Bathsheba, daughter of Emil. There were also Abarhar, Elisha, Aliphath, Nogah, Nefgeg, Jehef, Jephith, Jephi, Jephi, El Shama, El Adad, and El Afit. Nine in all. All these were the sons of David, besides his sons by his concubines, and Tamara were, was their sister. The kings of Judea, Solomon, son of Rebibam, 
Abijah, his son, Isaiah, Esau, his son, Jehoshaphat, his son, Jeremiah, his son, Ahazah, his son, Joash, his son, Amazahah, his son, Azariah, his son, Jotham, his son, Ahaz, his son, Hezekiah, his son, Manash, his son, Amon, his son, Josiah, his son, the son of Josiah, Johanna, the firstborn, Jehoiakim, the second son, Zedekiah, the third, Shalom, the fourth, the successor of Jehoiakim. Jochemiah, his son, and Zedekiah, the royal line after the exile, the descendants of Jehoiakim, the captive. Shelti, the his son, Mechariah, Pedah, Shenizar, Jechemiah, Hosham, and Nebuchadnezzar the sons of Pedai, Zebrel, and Shemael, the sons of Zebrel, Meshulam, and Hananah. Shalemith was their sister. There were also five others, Hajibah, Oha, Berkai, Ha, Hasadiah, and Jeshab, Jeshab Hezed, the descendants of Hannah, Pelath and Jesheth, the, the sons of Rebeth, of Aranan, of Obadiah, and of Shekinah, the descendants of Shekinah, Shemesh, and his sons, Hut. Hatesh, Igel, Bura, Nerha, and Shephat, six in all. These, the sons of Nerha, El Elolian, Hekazah, and Azarkim, three in all. The sons of Enolia, Hadava, Elisheb, Palaha, Akaba, Jonathan, Delena, and Anai, se Anna, seven in all. Phew, that would be First Chronicles 1 through 3. Thank you, God. <laughs> okay, now we're going to move into John 5, 25 through 47 in the New Testament. Very truly, I tell you, at time the time is coming, and it has, and has now come, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in Himself, so He has granted the Son also to have life in Himself. And he has given him authority to judge because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, for a time is coming when all who are in their graves will be here, will hear his voice and come out, and those who have done what is good will rise to live, and those who have done what is evil will rise to be condemned. By him, by myself, I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear, and my judgment is just, for I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. Testimonies about Jesus. John 5:31. If I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. 
and the, there is another who testifies in my favor. And I know that his testimony about me is true. You have sent to John, and he has testified to the truth. Not that I accept human testimony, but I mention it, and that you may be saved. Now John was a lamp that burned and gave light, and you chose for a time to enjoy his light. I have testimony weightier than that of John, for the works that the Father gave has given me to finish. The very works that I am doing testify that the Father has sent me, and the Father who sent me has himself testified concerning me. You have never heard his voice, nor seen his form, nor does his word dwell in you, for you do not believe the one he sent. You study the scriptures diligently, because you think that in them you will have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me. And uh, yet you refuse to come to me to have, to have life. I do not accept glory from human beings, but I know you, and I know that you do not have the love of God in your hearts. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me. But if I... But if someone else comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe, since you accept glory from one another, but do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? But do not think I will accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses, on whom you hope your hopes are set. If you believed Moses, you would believe me, for the he wrote about me. But since you do not believe what he wrote, how are you going to believe what I say? And there you have it. That there was First Chronicles 1 through 3 and John 5, 25 through 47, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2020 for the day. So tomorrow we will be reading First Chronicles 4 through 6 and John 6, 1 through 21. Father, I just thank you for your word, uh, that I might be able to be a messenger of the word of your uh, good book, the Bible. Father, I just thank that all the people that have tuned in today and have, and hopefully are enjoying the readings of the Bible. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. This here is Vin Shenandoah Briscoe, your messenger of the word of God. And I'm going to go ahead and check out from the Bible with Briscoe 2020. And as always, you know, come back and see me again because, you know, God loves me and so do God loves you and so do I. So come back and see me again because, well, I'll be here and I hope you are too. All right.